This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. A big night for UK football as the University of Kentucky will honor four players who integrated the Southeastern Conference in the 1960s with a statue outside Commonwealth Stadium. Jamie McCracken has more from Lexington. Nate Northington, Wilbur Hackett, Greg Page, and Houston Hogg tonight will have their statue unveiled here in front of the new practice facility. These are the four guys, the first four guys, that were African Americans that played football at Kentucky, and not just for the University of Kentucky, but also the Southeastern Conference. Mark Stoops spoke a little bit earlier this week on his thoughts about this event. Just like in the summer, we love having them around. They always uh, mean an awful lot to us, and uh, we always enjoy uh, when they want to spending some time talking to our team, and we ask them to come talk every year, and whenever they're here, and uh, it's uh, significant. It's significant for our program, our history, the university, the state, and, and uh, those individuals. So we're proud to be a part of it. Now this statue will be unveiled a little bit later around 7 o'clock tonight. It is expected to be about 7.5 feet tall, 11 feet wide, and close to 3,500 pounds. It should be a beautiful thing to look at, and we will take a look at it along with some of the guys who are getting honored tonight, tonight at 11. Reporting in Lexington, Jamie McCracken. Josh, back to you. Jamie, thank you very much. There has been a lot said about Kentucky's defense through the first three games of the season. So far, the Wildcats are allowing 528 yards and just shy of 44 points per game, both of which rank in the bottom 10 nationally. And Wednesday after practice, head coach Mark Stoops showed some frustration and said it all comes down to attitude and work ethic. Until we grow up and get a mentality about us and have some guys step up and get tougher, then, then we're going to look like the same bunch of crap. So some guys need to grow up in a hurry. We have no idea what it takes to have concentration from the beginning of the week through the end and through a whole game and so on. You get the picture. We're, 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 we're not real uh, uh, tough. We're not real smart. And uh, we've got a lot of long way to go. Whew, harsh words. Another tight race in this week's U-Pike Top 5 Plays of the Week voting. Less than 7% separating the top two plays. We start with number 5, the Shorty Jamerson Bowl. Dylan Cottle connects with Jesse Brown for the 45-yard touchdown in an Allen Central win over South Floyd. Another long pass at number 4, Player of the Week Cameron Jones of Knott Central to last week's Player of the Week Tyler Kidd for the 20-yard touchdown. Number three, the train keeps rolling for Corbin. Cameron Sizemore, the tough physical touchdown run and a win at Southwestern to keep the Red Hounds undefeated. The number two play this week. Look at the leaping catch made downfield by Reese Fletcher of Hazard. Nice throw as well by Bailey Blair. The Bulldogs beat Prestonsburg. And the U-Pike number one play from week four, a game-winning Hail Mary. Adrian Foltz throws deep. Jared Lovins comes down with the catch as South Laurel hands Leslie County its first loss of the season. Our U-Pike top play of the week.